SK box contains uh, packet specific information along with uh, layer 2 to layer 4 uh, header and the data associated with it. So, mm -hmm. in a very simplistic view, you can say uh, SKB in an external represents the packet. Yeah. So, the packet can be any kind, it is. it can be for any layer. So, it is almost like a network agnostic or protocol yeah. agnostic. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so let's go through the design. I mean, what exactly, how exactly this uh, SKB is designed? So, the primary organization of SKB, uh, we can say uh, it is actually header, the L2 to L4 layer headers. Linear data. When I say linear data, this is the uh, buffer which is used to package the data. The buffer so like, uh, is used to package, yeah, package the data. So, uh, whatever it is, uh, it is say uh, whatever. It is sent from the socket layer to the lower layer, and whatever is received from lower layer to the socket layer. The entire oh, data okay. comes packaged the linear as a linear bit. Okay. Uh, in some cases, uh, uh, protocol might choose to send non-linear data. Non-linear data is something that a collection of data in a, some in some data there some data structure format, like for example, link list. Okay. So there might be instances where uh, one particular buffer might not be sufficient to transport the data. I see, okay. So, uh, one example is IP fragmentation. Yeah, yeah. So, there uh, a huge TCP packet is fragmented or UDP or TCP packet is fragmented into uh, multiple IP packets and uh, that is sent in and a different way. And in other end. So, uh, in both the sending and receiving end, if you see like you need a huge buffer. Yeah. So one uh, so SKB accommodates that kind of scenario using the non-linear data part actually. Oh, I see. Okay. So as far as SKB is concerned, it uses a uh, uh, link list to uh, connect all the related fragmented data. Okay, I see. So that is scenario one. Scenario two is like say you have a you can your adapter network adapter. What you use in the final hard uh, what you use the hardware. Uh, if uh -huh. that supports a scatter gather mechanism. Scatter gather mechanism. Yeah, so what happens is like uh, uh, some network adapter supports transmission of multiple packets at the same time. Transmission of multiple packets at the same time. Oh, I see. Yeah. So what you can do is you can uh, form a link list kind of thing uh, and you can send it to the network adapter. Uh, you can just store it there, store the head in a alone address and Tell the network adapter, okay, so this is where my uh, list of packets start. Uh -huh. And the uh, network adapter DMA will automatically fetch one by one packet and it will send it. I see. So that is like uh, very, that is most of the, uh, what do you call the network adapter drivers, they support, and even the hardware level, they support that. Uh, this is like this is one of the uh, drivers which uses. Ethernet-based uh, protocol actually. It's called Firewire. Uh, it's like a USB firewire. Yeah. So it uses the Ethernet-based uh, communication uh, between two Firewire uh, systems actually. So you can connect two systems using Firewire. You can use it like a Ethernet. Mm -hmm. So what happens once it receives the incoming packet? You can see that. Uh, So it, it, it removes the, it, so what happens is it processes the incoming packet slowly. So first thing is like uh, the whatever SKB it is allocated, first thing is it is resetting the MAC header. So the MAC header is still, uh, I mean it is, it is so whatever pointer the MAC header contains, that will get removed actually. I see. So for second thing is uh, it pulls out actually, SKB pull, what happens is it modifies actually, SKB, uh, yeah. So uh, once once the uh, what happens is the header once you do a SKB pool, the Ethernet header will be removed from the SKB. The head pointer will point to the IP layer. I see. So in this case, uh, this guy is receiving the packet. Uh, yeah, yeah. This uh, is the receive part. Oh. Correct, correct. So see. once you do a SKB the receive pool, part, so in the receive part, won't won't after the allocation of the SKB, won't it be Pointing to the start itself. Yeah, in a, yeah. Once you allocate, it will point to the start. What they do is after receiving the uh, packet, 
will they will fill up the fcv the data point will have the whatever data you have received in the ethernet oh i see so that time like the header uh, uh, tail as well as the data they will point to the starting of the data uh -huh. so then you do a skb pull and all that so the data point will move and the header point will move so everything will move actually on so one second let me just uh, on this map it can be reset mac header so it will point to the correct uh, mac header will point to the data minus head actually skb has to be a mac header is equal to skb data minus skb head yeah so initially so, the skb head uh, uh, the head data tail uh, all all point to the same location right so no, is it just making sure Yeah, so the tail actually uh, always will point to the end of the linear buffer. Yeah. So the, uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, head, yeah, yeah. So the head and data would be point. Yeah, that's the end pointer. Sorry, end pointer will point to the end. Head, the tail, and data yeah. they will always point to the starting of the buffer. Yeah. So let me just uh, SKB is already there. One second, so let me just trace this function. So this is the incoming function. Uh, so here they are allocating the SKB. So okay. So what happens is like okay. Once you allocate SKB, second thing they are doing a, a reserve. Once again, SKB reserve of LL space of net. So adjust headroom. Data plus equal to LN. L plus equal to LN. This is edge of an parallel with tail. Okay, this is the only for empty local correct. So this we can so use. So what is the reserve? So reserve. What happens is like you can reserve the header actually. So first thing is you have an empty buffer. You want to reserve some uh, space for header as well as data. So yeah. data already the space is there, but header it is not yet there because all the head data pointer points to the same address. now what we are doing is we are moving the we are giving some space for the header we are actually what we are trying to do is we are differentiating between the header and the data now once we receive a packet so for the ethernet it would be uh, the ethernet header plus the data would be the um, everything starting from ip correct correct so so they use like they use this macro so the skb reserve you need to use skb on the side so ll reserve space some uh, their own macro which will have the whatever calculation then we use the header length